everyone, it's me, Lucky Lance, back at it again for Team Last Best Hope. Gonna drink some beer. Oh yeah, there we go. Still got these winter rain ears. I always call them holiday rain ears, but I guess they're winter. Technically, it's still winter. Today is March 12th, 2019. And it was snowing today, so yeah, it's still winter. It's still technically winter for another eight days. On this channel, I usually open up product of Yu-Gi-Oh! and drink beer while doing it. That's what I'm going to do today. But before I can get to that and let you all know, i got a sponsor I think you're all going to really appreciate. Something that I think we can all grab hold of. Because we all love movies, okay? I love movies, you love movies, people that don't even know they love movies love movies. And I'm talking about people that live in like terrible countries in like North Korea where they're not allowed to see movies. They don't know it yet, but they love movies. And if they're ever granted freedom in that country, they'll be checking movies out literally 24-7 until they die. Because they, they got a lot of catching up to do. Like my girlfriend, I've been trying to get her to watch all the great movies. So uh, we watched all the Indiana Jones, watched both the good Ghostbusters. We watched uh, both the first two Terminators. We just watched the first Predator and the third Predator. If you don't count the AVP series, so she's working on. We got I gotta watch all like how many fucking Rockies are there now? There's five rock, six Rockies, five with Roman numerals. They made Rocky Balboa, and then we gotta watch the next two Creeds, and we gotta watch all the Rambo's, and they're making another Rambo. It's like oh my god, it's just so much. But anyways, we all love movies. We got a lot of catching up to do. Everybody does. And I've got a guy out here in Ravensdale who is not in the movie business, but he's in the movie fan business. And he knows how much you all love certain actors. I'm talking about Cedric Lax gave me $25 to promote his new celebrity painting business where you can go into his shop, which is a shed behind his house, and pick out portraits of your favorite actors as some of your favorite movie characters. Right now, he showed me some previews, and he wanted to display these. I don't have them. He won't let me take them, of course, because that's business I'm taking away from him. He, some guy comes in and says he wants the painting, and I've got it, and then he's out 50 bucks. That's how much they cost. All of them are $50, and he does not take orders. He just paints as he feels because he says if someone came and told him to paint a portrait of Danny Glover as... Uh, I can't remember the character's name from Lethal Weapon, but he told him to be that. Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon, whatever. He couldn't do it. He said he just wouldn't have the artist's inspiration. Just He just struggled the canvas. Just would not be able to uh, paint. So instead, he's got these four examples, and you guys can check these movies out. In case you haven't watched them, they're actually pretty good. we got old Tom Hanks. You know Tom Hanks from... Uh, you know, Saving Private Ryan and uh, Forrest Gump. He's got Tom Hanks as Alan Bauer from the 1984 classic comedy Splash. You guys ever seen Splash where Tom Hanks th falls in love with a mermaid? It's a pretty good movie, really. It's uh, uh, directed by uh, uh, the guy that played Opie and Annie Griffith. What's his name? Ron Howard? Ron Howard. So Splash, 1984. We got old Bill Dukes as Mr. Jo Johnson in from Sister Act 2. You guys may remember Sister Act 2 starred Whoopi Goldberg from 1993. Uh, those of you who don't know who Bill Duke is, he uh, he played Mac in Predator. Yeah, yeah, he played Mac in Predator. The guy, I'm going to have me some fun. going to have me some fun. He gets shot in the head with the big you know, laser cannon. Great movie. One of my favorite movies, Predator. And Bill Duke, Bill Duke does a great job. Uh, he's also in Commando for a little while, too. Uh, check that movie out if you get a chance. And then we have Sharon Stone, you know who I'm talking about, yeah, the lady who showed it all in uh, Basic Instinct, yeah, you know, with a uncrossing of the legs, showing off the good bits, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about Sharon Stone as Dr. Beth Halperin in Sphere, 1998 Sphere. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what the fuck that is. I've never watched Sphere. 1990. I guess I'm going to have to now. This is a great thing that Cedric's got me on to. I'm going to check this out. If, if he's painting a picture of Sharon Stone in this movie, it's got to be decent. It's not, I mean, so far, I mean, I don't like, really like Sister Act 2, I'll tell you that much. And then he's also got, uh, recently departed, sadly, Arlie Ermey. You know I mean? You know him as the uh, drill sergeant from uh, 
from Full Metal Jacket. He dies in that movie, now he's dead in real life. Weird how that works. Uh, Arlie Ermey as, oh, this is a good one here, Major Tillman from Mississippi Burning in 1988. Uh, that's a great movie. I haven't watched that in a long time, but yeah, Major Tillman, uh, or Mayor Tillman. <laughs> uh, he's the mayor of uh, Mississippi in, in that town where the, the crime takes place. Uh, Mississippi Burning, great movie. Very violent, too. Sad thing about that movie, all the violence and cussing and racial stuff going on, that's all real life, because that movie is based upon the real events of those three guys getting murdered in Mississippi. Well, Mississippi Burning. I believe the uh, the cover on the VHS, at least, probably the DVD and Blu-ray, too, is a big cross burning with, uh, what's their names in the front of it? I can't remember. He's retired now. Dan Hackman. Or Gene Hackman. Dan Hackman. Who the fuck's that? Gene Hackman uh, standing in front of a burning cross, which you probably couldn't do anymore now. Probably, even if it's a movie like Bur Mississippi Burning, which is about killing and fighting Klansmen, you probably still can't have a, a burning cross on a, a DVD cover anymore. So that's Cedric Lax. Head on down there and get one of those fine portraits for $50. Gave me $25. Thank you very much, Cedric, for keeping the lights going. All right, now on to the Yu-Gi-Oh! product opening. This may be a familiar one to you all, because I've done this a few times, but goddamn, I still need to do it. Shadows in Valhalla, right? In Valhalla. I always think it's over Valhalla. I think that's the OCG. Why am I doing another one of this set? Why, you may ask. Why, why, why? It's not for the Ash Blossoms. It's not for the cover monster Valkyrie Brew Hindle. It's for that damn Alistair the Invoker of Madness, or whatever his name is. I haven't pulled him yet, period. Out of multiple boxes. Out of hundreds of loose packs. I have never pulled this guy. And I have refrained from buying him because I, I, every card I have in my collection, I have pulled. I have pulled out of a pack. Whether I got a case opening, a random pack out of Fred Meyer or Walmart, I have always pulled them and put them in sleeves and kept them. And uh, I have not pulled him. I always get one copy at least. I don't say I pull entire play sets of some cards, even though I have. Um, I still need Alice of the Moker Madness, and it's really crazy. I think it's one of the only cards I have never pulled in such a long period. Uh, I believe so. I think the second longest was actually Ancient Gear Fusion from Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium. It took me like four or five boxes to finally get one. I didn't buy a case of that. If you buy a case, you should pull everything, at least one of, especially now. The old cases before Breakers of Shadow, you should still get one of everything. Uh, there was some times where you wouldn't get one of everything, like like a certain ultimate rare would be really tough to get. Like an ultimate rare, Allure of Darkness, when it first came out, those was sometimes people weren't even getting one in a case. And those weren't even air cases. But anyways, yeah. Shadows in Valhalla. If you see how many Ash Blossoms That's always a fun game to play. How many Ash Blossoms I don't even know how much it's worth anymore. It's a common now. I can't believe that. I guess we're going to have a common Droll and Lockbird next month. And a common Paw Desires. Can you believe that stuff? That is Yu-Gi-Oh! on the cheap for the children. It's going to be exciting for the kitties. But I'm excited to open up this box of Shadows in Valhalla. And finally end this Alistair Cursed. I'm going to try... If I fail, then goddamn, I gotta buy another box. It's never ending. All right, guys, man, over yonder, rip this plastic off, and you know what we need to do? You know what's gonna help me find this Alistair? Is if I get drunk! All right, it's going in here. I'm ready for this. Got that big ass horse on this box. I believe it's the only horse with a box, or box with a horse on it. Here we go. I'm gonna try and get this damn. Um. Some bitch, Alistair. See how many regular Alistairs I get just to really piss me off. Invocations in here. That's still a good super, I heard. Why is this plastic coming off? What the hell? There we go. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Just had to get a little bit of anger out on it because I know I'm probably going to get mad by the end of this box, probably. It's like, zero ash blossoms. Oh, I think I had a box like that, didn't I? Did I open that on camera? Oh, I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure I'm not the only one it happened to, but if it is, then... Damn. 
All right, let's see what I got here. I got Dritty, oh, Twin Twisters. That's a good ass Seagull I'm gonna put that down here. I, I really, Twin Twisters is one of my favorite cards ever printed. I'm gonna say it right now. I may have said it already before. I really love Twin Twisters. It does so much for you. Discard one card that target up to two spell or traps on the field, destroy them. It's good, folks. It's been, it's in every side deck of my deck since Breaker's Shadow when it was first printed. Um, it's that good. I, I think that it deserves an ultimate rare and OTS pack 10, which we're out of OTS 9, so I'm getting OTS 5 now. Megma Neos, oh, here we go. In a lot of boxes, after every Neospace and Glow Moss, there's an Ash Blossom. Or a Flare Scarab. Right of the Valkyries, that's a short print secret, not the one I wanted. But let's go ahead and read it. Special summon any number of Valkyrie monsters with different names from your hand. If you special summon three or more monsters with this effect, you can take no battle damage until the end of the next turn. During the end phase of the turn, you activate this card. Shuffle all monsters you control into the deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one Mission to the Time Goddess from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Rye of the Valkyries once per turn. There we go. <laughs> Is Valkyrie's going to be good? They're getting more support. Probably gonna be ass. Uh, we got here. Blah blah blah. Another ride of the Valkyries. Is this short print or not? What's going on here? I thought this was a short print card. Special summon any number of Valkyrie monsters with different names from your hand. If you special summon three or more monsters with this effect, you take no battle damage to the end of the next turn. During the end phase of the turn, you activate this card, shuffle all monsters you control into the deck. You can only banish this card. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one mission of the Time Goddess from your deck to your hand. You only use this effect of Ride of Valkyries once per turn. This deck is close to being good. I've play tested this when it was all announced, and it's not terrible. It is terrible. It's god awful, but man, they just had like an extra searcher card or a card that can just special summon them for free. You know, we could be talking some good shit. Uh, we got one Witch Ice Bell. I used to be worth something before uh, Link Summoning came out. The Wind Witches were legitimate contenders. Uh, was that Wind Witch Invoked? I played the shit out of that deck online. I only took it to my locals once. And I went like 3-1 with it. Uh, another Wind Witch Ice Bell. What's happening here? Back-to-back -back secrets? Is that what we're going to do every time? Well, we only got the one Oddball Twin Twisters, but so far we've only got pulled five secrets and... Three are the same. Only three different. Oh, there's back to back mermail. Man, I remember Abyss Megalo at one time, I believe, was $100 out of Abyss Rising. Uh, we got here. We got Ninjutsu Art of Mirage Transformation. Some of the artwork on the Ninjutsu cards are really nice. Some of them are really bad. Ninja Deck's okay. Magic Planner. This card used to be really expensive. Uh, what was this originally out of? It's a super rare. Was it Shining Victories? Was it, wait. It was, a, it was a Synchro set. Ah, I don't remember. Shining Darkness? Was it Shining Darkness? I don't remember. Oh, there's Invocations. To go. And see, look at that! What's happening here? What's going on? I'm scared. Yeah! Oh god, it's a misprint box somehow. Oh no! Well, hopefully I get two of these Alistairs. Invocation, this is the second best super in the set. Uh, fusion, summon one mon fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand as fusion material. This is act as any uh, polymerization, so that's why they run in prank kids. If summoning an invoked fusion monster this way, you can also banish monsters from your field and or either player's graveyard as fusion material. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one of your banished Alistair the Invoker. Shuffle this card in the deck, and if you do add that card from to your hand. You can only use the effect of Invocation once per turn. I love the Wind in, uh, wind Witch Invocation deck. Uh, I played the hell out of it online. I just never took it to Locals. Minus one time. One time I took it, did good with it, and then just kept playing ABC. I was really into ABC at the time. More than I was to Invoked. I, I really like ABC still. Ah, uh, this normal monster. We got here. There's a regular Alistair the Invoker. All right, let's see if I get another one. That should be one more coming. It's got a zero Ash Blossom and no Alistair Invoker of Madness. Yep, there we go. So I do have a misprint box. That's 
Neat to know. God, got a misprint box. I hope it turns out right. Okay, I hope that I end up getting the card I want. Uh, there's Shadal Fusion, which uh, I don't think is doing anything right now. Um, people said with Construct, Construct's limited again, I think. If I remember reading that right. I haven't seen anyone play it at all. At all, online or in person. So is it really back at one? I mean, uh, I don't know. We got here, we got, yep, another Shadal Fusion. Nice mi misprint box here. The one oddball one is the Twin Twisters. We're gonna have one Twin Twisters and wonder what the hell happened. There's Gateway to Chaos. Okay, we got a different one. Let's see if this pack over here is a Gateway to Chaos. So, Gateway to Chaos was so good there when uh, set rotation was at full strength. I'm so glad that card's gone. Fuck that card. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> so this one Twin Twister is going to be the one where we're like, huh, how'd that get in here? Unless the, unless the last pack. Wouldn't that be hilarious if the last pack in this box is a Twin Twister? Like, oh, they just put it in the wrong spot. Okay, I forgive you. Yellow Dragon Ninja. Dinosaur. I always look at this and I'm like, dinosaur? I mean, I guess. I think the weirdest one where you look at is Lavalval Chain. Rest in peace, buddy. I mean, that card had to be banned. Uh, Lavalval Chain is a sea serpent, and it's a fire type, and it just does not look like a sea serpent. Uh, Levier is a flying sea serpent. That's another oddball one. And there's some really old cards that are like that, too, where it's like, where it's like, it says it's a dragon, or they say it's a dragon, but it's a dinosaur. Like, its name is something dragon. Like, I can't remember what it is, but you look at its at its type, and it's a it's a dinosaur. Yep, another yellow dragon ninja. Boy, this is going to be a fast box opening, because it's just like, I tell you, if I get a Brunhindle, I'll be happy. I'll get two of those back-to-back. -back. That's all good. Uh, El Shadal Winda. What a shit box. And these are probably, I think you only get two um, short print secrets. So that's why I was confused and concerned that I got two Ride of the Valkyries. Which, by the way, is the one I pulled the most except Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo, I think. Chanbar, that's the first one that I've gotten. Yep, no window. This pulling doubles, I tell you what. That's sad. No Ash Blossom, it looks like. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, there we go. All right, uh, Gem Knight Seraphonite. I might as well read the Ash Blossom, what the hell. Uh, when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, quick effect, you can discard this card, negate that, that, negate that effect, add a card from deck to hand, special summon from the deck, send a card from the deck to the graveyard, you can activate, you can only use the effect of Ash Blossom, you always spring once per turn. What if, like, you could only use each effect once per turn? So if you had two, you could negate a Pod Desires and negate a Foolish Burial the same turn. How would different would the game be if that was the case? What I'm asking is, would it really be that busted? Because you'd be down two cards in your hand, but so would they? Uh, I mean, I just don't know. Just depends who went first, I guess. Or, it doesn't even matter then, because it's a hand trap, so I don't know. Hell, okay, I gotta pull another uh, Gemini Seraphonite. There it is. <laughs> How many more packs? Like, I think I feel four in here, so that means I got two different secrets coming. Oh my god. God. Uh, out ending Yarla. That's a nice one to get. Not. Well, I did get the one Ash Blossom, so. I guess I can't bitch too much. Boy, oh boy. What a sad. Oh, wait. There is a th final pack at the bottom. So we'll see if that's a twin twister. Wow, I'm gonna get four ice spell in this box. Let's see what we got here. Yep, four ice spell. Okay, so here we go. The final mystery pack. Will it be a twin twisters? I'm betting it's a twin twisters that somehow got misplaced. But I could be wrong, and it could be that damn Alistair I've been looking for. This is the first reprint of Cyber Dark Impact. This card is really expensive in its original print. Oh, I got him! <laughs> oh, shit! The circle!
merch is over in the misprint box. I got him. Oh, fuck yes. Thank God. He's not even worth hardly anything, but I fight. We did it. We did it. My God. Oh, my God. I finally pulled this bastard. Oh, the search is over. I had to go through a hell of an experience with a shitty box until this. I mean, it's okay box, I guess. I got three short print secrets, which normally only get two, so. And an Ash Boss and Invocation. Both short print supers. And Twin Twister is a good one to get to. Oh, my God. I can't believe I finally got this guy. Two monsters with different types and different attributes. This card's name becomes Alistair Invoker while on the field or in the graveyard. If a monster is fusion summoned while well, you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can discard one card, and if you do, add one invocation or one book of the law from your deck to your hand. This face-up card to control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. You can add one Omega summon from your deck to your hand, which nobody ever does. All right, so that was a misprint box. If you guys are paying attention, it was, except for the first and last pack, all had duplicate secrets back to back. So you'll get a Win Witch Ice Spell, you get another Win Witch Ice Spell. So I got four of those today. Um, but I did manage to get two Ride of the Valkyries, which was two Valkyrie Brew Hindles. But we can only do what Konami allows us to get, which I am. I can't believe I pulled that in the last pack. I cannot believe I got it. That's insane. I just. It's not worth anything, folks. Don't be running the TCG player and like being, oh my god, is that $80? No, it's not. I think it's like six bucks, seven bucks, maybe eight bucks right now. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm telling you right now, I'm glad I got it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that shit. I mean, that was exciting. Like, damn, that was some nonsense, wasn't it? If you guys like what you saw here, which I hope you did, because this is a pretty unique box I, in in the wrong way, and uh, uh, honestly, because it just there was no suspense coming. There's none. You know, every pack you should open should be suspenseful. You know, like, what am I going to get? But when you know one of the five cards you're going to get for sure, then it sucks, especially when it's the secret rare out of a all-foil set. But we did it. We got an Ash Blossom, we got an Invocation, and we got Alistair the Invoker of Madness. So, I'm okay with it. I, I can't believe I, the search is over. I mean, I've opened up so much of this set on and off camera, just trying. And I finally got out a box that's all messed up. If you guys like what you saw, which I hope you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified instantaneously, the main man's up to it again and yelling at Yu-Gi-Oh! and drinking beer. That's what I do. I yell at Yu-Gi-Oh! and drink beer, which that's not a very productive life, but that's what I do. I got to be honest. Um... Hit that bell icon, you know, from the bell tolls me notified instantaneously that I'm up to it again. That I'm rep, roaring, ready to go. Vroom, vroom, boom, boom. And, uh, like I said, I, this is quite the thing, and I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying it. Um, I got more boxes coming. I got a lot of stuff built up. Hope you're all excited. I know I'm excited. And I will catch you guys in a couple of days. Peace!